We begin this afternoon with some breaking news. Malmstrom Air Force Base is on lockdown right now due to what's being described as an active shooter. The base entered lockdown status right around 1030 this morning with all personnel ordered to shelter in place. A few other details have been released, but MTN does have a crew on scene. The lockdown is occurring on a day when Malmstrom was planning a base-wide training exercise, but a post from Malmstrom makes it clear this is a real-world situation and not part of that training. Great Falls Public Schools have also placed 11 schools in the city on lockdown, all east and south of the river, as a precaution. Stay tuned to MTN, our station's websites, throughout the day as we continue to update this developing story. Meanwhile, the suspected gunman responsible for killing Sheridan police officer Nevada Crinky is now dead. Police fired shots killing 46-year-old William Lowry to end a 30-hour standoff around 5.30 last night. Officers shot their weapons when Lowry tried to flee the home near 6th and North Sheridan after law enforcement used an excavator, water cannons, and gas grenades to get him out. Investigators say Lowry shot Sergeant Crinky as the officer was delivering a trust pass warning. People want to go back home and it's cold and go into their house. Yeah. A lot of people had to evacuate yesterday. It's just this is like not a what we grew up around. Safe town, yeah. you know. This is something a town where you look out for each other and this is just so out of the normal. It's crazy. Yeah. It is unclear why Lowry chose this particular house to hide in or if he knew the homeowners. He did have a lengthy criminal record, including several domestic violence and DUI convictions. Of course, much of the focus of the Sheridan community and the Bozeman community, as Crinky was a graduate, 2009 of Bozeman High, remains on providing support for the family of Officer Crinky, who was a member of the local police department for more than six years. Those who knew him say he had a long desire to serve his country and others. MTN's Russ Riesinger reports. Outside the Sheridan Police Department, a growing memorial for a fallen officer killed in the line of duty. But it's not just here in Sheridan where people are feeling the pain of this senseless loss. He loved his family, but um, he loved his job. Sergeant Nevada Crinky was a 2009 graduate of Bozeman High School. We talked to several of his friends who remember him well. He was just a nice guy. He, he knew when to be funny, he knew when you know, to be serious. It's devastating because he was such a, such a great guy in high school and included everybody. In just a super nice stand-up guy that you could count on. and Friends and family we talked to say Sergeant Crinky had a desire to serve and help others for as long as they can remember. He'd always talk about how his goal is to join the Army and join the military, so you kind of knew that career path was something he was always going to be striving towards. And He joined the Army following high school, where part of his job was to protect children walking to and from school in Afghanistan. And after that... Came back to Bozeman to figure out what he wanted to do, and he uh, he wanted to be a police officer. All he wanted to do was serve and and uh, help people. Nevada joined the Sheridan Police Department in 2017, was promoted a corporal in 2018, became a sergeant in the spring of 2022. His half brother Jeremy says when he wasn't working to help people, he loved playing video games, being a shooting instructor for fellow officers and his dogs. He loved his dogs. Um, he had several dogs, and then plus his wife, is, she was on the force, so she had a couple dogs, plus the P9. So, so they loved other dogs. Nevada leaves behind his wife, Carla, who also works for the Sheridan Police Department, their baby girl, and a lot of family and friends. I think him having a servant's heart as well, like he wanted to serve his country and then serving the general population when he got out of the military as well. A man who always wanted to serve and gave it all doing just that. In Billings, Russ Riesinger, MTN News.